Hello, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this session. I hope you can see and hear me. Okay, so today is the 8th of January 2024. I am Vashnavi and this is the Hindu Editorial Analysis brought to you by An Academy. And I know I'm late, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, I thought of cancelling the session, but then I decided otherwise because I saw students are waiting for the session and I don't want to cancel it in the last moment. So apologies for the delay and welcome everyone. Prabhati. Hello, hello Prabhati. Mehek, good afternoon. Vandana, good afternoon. Somesh, namaste and good afternoon. Hmm. Yeah, you are welcome. <laughs> so... How's everyone doing today? Because I'm not doing well. <laughs> but I really hope that you guys are feeling well. Yeah? Thank you, I guess, Somesh, for the hearts. Hello, Meer. Hello. Thank you so much, Prabhati. That's really sweet of you. Oh. <laughs> See, Somesh, Kal se aapko isle nahi achha lag raha hai kyunki kal bhi session nahi tha, uh, editorial session. Or aaj bhi late ho gaya. So, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why you're not feeling well. And I will... Try and make sure ki everyone is feeling all right. <clears throat> no matter, I just have a lot of congestion. Um, and I'm uh, just feeling low on oxygen. That's it. I'm not feeling refreshed. My, my mind is uh, has a dearth of oxygen level right now because of the cold and not really cold, just cough and congestion in my chest. So a lot of cough. That's why I'm not feeling well. But other than that, I'm doing great. I think I'm mentally doing fine <laughs> with a little less oxygen level. <laughs> I think even when I'm drowning, I will say that I'm feeling all right, except just <laughs> water filled in my lungs. That's it. I'm just drowning, but I'm feeling all right. <laughs> Good afternoon, Harshika. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. No problem, I also joined late. So that's all, absolutely okay. <clears throat> Ravneet, hi, good afternoon. I'm just gonna, just gonna use some tissues to feel all right. All right, so let's go to the session. Today's editorial, hai, aaj ka jo editorial hai, it is mostly Thank you, Mir. Thank you. VM Patak, let's not discuss all that. This is not the session for it, okay? Let's not discuss all that because I really want to just concentrate on the Hindu editorial analysis. If you want this information, chahiye, so go to the respective uh, videos. Uh, there will be definitely videos on that as well, okay? So have some patience and go to those videos. This is not the right session for it. So let's uh, get started with the session. Uh, the Before we start the session, my the name of my channel is unacademy underscore Vashnavi underscore clat. And I've not updated today's session on that, on the channel. Uh, again, I have somehow brought myself to the class today. <laughs> so 
please excuse me for today but the rest of the days you will have all the information about the classes when is it happening wo what platform is it happening sara information aapko milega is channel pe okay to aaj ka jo editorial hai, oh my god i should have seen this that it is going to stretch till here um uh, mm hmm so don't worry uh, nothing major is being blocked by me okay bahut kuch important ya significant nahi block kar rahe now you see there are a lot of words written theek hai do not get scared uh, jaise hi it happens with a lot of people especially those who have not taken science uh, as their uh, subjects in uh, 12th to bahut logo ke sath aisa hota hai that scientific words dekh ke ghabra jate ho okay do not get uh, afraid you don't have to know now ये वर्ड्स जो है ये आपको क्या ये आपको हेल्प करेगी इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग पैसेज प्रोबेबली यस ओके क्या ये एब्सोल्युटली नेसेसरी है टू लर्न द डेफिनेशन एंड एवरीथिंग एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज वर्ड्स एब्सोल्युटली नॉट मैं ये नहीं कहना चाहती हूँ इन सेशन से दैट इफ यू ओनली ओनली एंड ओनली इफ यू लर्न दीज वर्ड्स तब आपको एडिटोरियल uh, समझ में आएगा यू कैन स्किप हॉप दीज वर्ड एज वेल बट इट जस्ट गिव यू एन एडवांटेज इसीलिए हम ये वर्ड्स डिस्कस करते हैं ओके सो आज चूंकि हम इसरो के बारे में बात करने वाले हैं वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टूडे दैट्स वाई one of my favorite topics by the way uh, that's also the reason why i wanted to take this uh, editorial uh, the second editorial was on jharkhand uh, which i so i was like really uh, stretching on both sides kyunki uh, on one side i have astrophysics uh, which i have to explain as an editorial and on the other side uh, we have a topic um, close to home <laughs> okay so but uh, what i chose astrophysics okay so let's get started with the session yes aditya l1 yes 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 prabal thank you thank you for subscribing and thank you for listening to me <laughs> my subject was science okay then All right, then you won't have a lot of problem. Those or ऐसा भी नहीं है कि कुछ tough words हैं. Okay, they are easy words. You just have to remember uh, मोटा मोटी meaning of these words. Okay, you don't have to go complete and details. जैसे language point आपको पूरा definition नहीं याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है. Uh, same goes with plasma. आपको पूरा पता नहीं करने की जरूरत है. Coronagraph. Again, you don't have to know everything about it. Magnetometer. Magneto. Magneto. magneto okay anyway <laughs> magnetometer is uh, basically an instrument aapko ye jana hai for measuring magnetic force okay so you just have to know upar upar ka meaning okay so let's start with the first one transmit when something transmits something okay wow navasha i am so happy uh, that science is someone's favorite who's not a science student so गुड है बहुत अच्छा है ओके बिकॉज साइंस हियर एंड देयर समवेयर यू विल हैव टू यू नो नो फिजिक्स सबको पढ़ना जरूरी है बिकॉज इट इज सम हाउ समवेयर अप्लाइड इन योर लाइफ ओके सो आई बिलीव दैट यू शुड ऑल रीड एंड इससे आता है मेरा एक बुक रिकमेंडेशन जो मैं अभी आपको देना चाहती हूँ बिफोर आई डू दैट So, एक बुक का रिकमेंडेशन देना चाहती हूँ आपको दैट इज रिचर्ड फाइनमैन वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बेस्ट साइंटिस्ट एंड एस्ट्रो नॉट एस्ट्रो फिजिसिस्ट ही वॉज जस्ट अ फिजिसिस्ट ही वॉज जस्ट अ फिजिसिस्ट यस सो वन ऑफ द बेस्ट फिजिसिस्ट एवर टू हैव लिफ्ट ही वॉज वेरी वेरी टैलेंटेड इफ यू हैव नॉट रेड श्योरली यू मस्ट बी जोकिंग मिस्टर फाइनमैन दैट इज ऑल्सो फाइन ठीक है लेकिन इनका ये वाला बुक जरूर पढ़ लेना 
It's called six easy pieces. Okay, six easy pieces it is called. It is by Richard Feynman. All right, and it is very interesting. I assure you this is a book that it will help you a lot, okay? Uh, I will keep giving recommendation here and there. Jaise, jaise main padte jati hu, I will tell you if the, uh, the books that you should definitely read. So, Six Easy Pieces is a very nice book and it, there could not be a better occasion than a uh, science uh, related editorial uh, to have brought this book up, okay? So, Six Easy Pieces by Richard Feynman is a very nice book, okay? So, do, do, do give it a read, okay? I insist, okay? All right. Uh, I did not opt for uh, science as I always dreamt of becoming a lawyer and not an engineer or a doctor of becoming. I opted for science because of maths then realized not for me 11th and 12th. It is funny how, I mean, I'm really shocked and taken aback, okay, by how much you think about uh, our 11th or 12th mein goal tha ki kis mein interest hai. But on interest ke basis, pe, we used to, uh, you know, um, select our subjects uh, in 11th and 12th. So, I did not want to become a doctor or a, a doctor or a gen. I wanted to become a genetic engineer. But anyway, but I was really interested in biology, physics, and chemistry. So I took that. <laughs> and trust me, it has no usage uh, for your, you know, it it just gives you a, like an introductory uh, light towards future. But it is not something that you do need or must have in your 11th and 12th to, you know, do something in science. So even if you have not taken it and you are just interested, then you can read books and that will help you uh, stay in touch with science, see stuff, okay? English has been my favorite since forever, but I liked history and civics. Oh, damn, everyone. <laughs> I'm so very interested in knowing all of your choices. Very nice. So, Ramneet was interested, always interested in English and History, like, you know, there, people say ki dohi, there are two types of brain, uh, like a literature brain, literature and um, artistic brain and creative side of brain, okay? Um, the, those kind of people. And then there are practical, mathematical kind of people who are more interested in rationality and, you know, so there is either a math brain or uh, an English brain in people, so... <laughs> Um, Ravni justifies it completely. <laughs> Sorry about that. Some, sometimes I do read related to scientific knowledge. Very nice, Navasha. You should. You should not. Just because you took something, took a path in life does not mean that you can, uh, you have to absolutely abandon the other path. Up, you can keep your interest alive. You can kindle it okay uh, you, uh, you can rekindle your love for science uh, by reading a lot okay so do read uh, scientific novels because it increases the rational part of your brain and helps you think uh, in a present and more mindful way okay practical way without you know involving love and emotion and drop of even a drop of emotion and everything okay all right, so transmit is the first word. Let's uh, look at this first, okay? Hum thoda sa karte. Transmit is cause something to pass on from one person to another, okay? One person or place to another, okay? Transmit, okay? Transmit a disease, aapne suna hoga. Transmission, okay? Transmission is cause something to pass on, okay? To pass on from one person or place to another, okay? So that is to transmit, okay? Yeah, 
and the more uh, see just because you have to clear an exam okay aapko padhai aur reading bas ye soch ke nahi karni chahiye ki aapko ye exam clear karna hai isiliye aap ye pad rahe ho even if that helps that is fine but in general have a uh, basically an excitement and urge to know more okay it is it is very important to have a thirst for knowledge okay so just for the sheer knowledge of something not to sorry not to brag in front of your friends apne friends ke samne batana hai oh my god maine ye ye padha hai wo padha hai not just because of that not for that not for this not for any sort of gain but just for your own benefit the more you know uh the profound your knowledge is the more you know about things the better or um, the better person you become okay so it is about your personal growth about your personal journey okay it, it does not hurt to be smart okay all right so be smart that way <laughs> all right maneuver maneuver yahan par noun hai okay a movement or series and it can also be a verb okay a movement uh, or series of moves requiring skills and care oh thank you thank you thank you yes definitely <laughs> thank you for all the heart khana khana my god ye kitna pehle ka show hai but okay <laughs> all right Lord definitely definitely helped me expand my reading subject. I was someone who would only read novels, but now I just like it all. Science, news, sports. Yes, the more you know, the more interested you will be to know more. Okay, and as soon as you stop, you will stop everything. Okay, so don't stop. Don't you ever stop. Okay, okay. Lagrange point, okay. Lagrange point, एक ऐसा point है, बहुत ही interesting point है, okay. This is this is important in the sense of understanding the editorial, okay. ये थोड़ा सा important हो जाता है क्योंकि Lagrange point are positions in space where objects sent there, okay. अगर कोई object उस point पे ये let's say this is the point, okay. यहाँ पर कोई object अगर भेजा जाता है, okay. तो वो वही रहता है ओके इट स्टेज पोर्ट ओके इट डज नॉट मूव अबाउट इट डज नॉट स्टार्ट ऑर्बिटिंग क्यों ऐसा होता है ओके okay? मतलब वो वही पर रह जाता है इट डज नॉट मूव फ्रॉम इट्स प्लेस ओके सो इट्स बेसिकली लाइक फिक्सिंग समथिंग इन इन अ प्लेस वेयर देर इज एक्चुअली like a ghost fixer okay so basically there is nothing that is fixing it to a place but there is something that is fixing it to a place okay what is it gravitational pull okay so at lagrange point the gravitational pull of two large masses okay so let's say there is one large mass over here and there is another la large mass over here okay so two large mo masses precisely equal equals the centripetal force okay centripetal force is the force that pulls things uh, inwards i believe okay centrifugal force is the force that scatters things yes so basically ye dono ka na pull equal ho jata hai okay in dono sides se jo pull hoga wo equal ho jayega so the object will not be uh, because of that pull from both sides and equal force with equal force ye yahi par reh jata hai okay does not go towards the left it does not go towards the right okay so basically uh, that is equal to the centripetal force required for a small object to move with them okay these point in space can be used or ye kis liye use ho sakte hain by spacecraft use karte hain to reduce fuel consumption fuel consumption ke liye taki yahan par isko rehne ke liye stable rehne ke liye jo fuel lage wo fuel lagega hi nahi if it is fixed at that place okay needed to remain in that position okay so fuel consumption bhi yahan par nahi hoga kam hoga okay so lag range point is very important in that case okay <laughs> yes all right next one is uh, unfettered okay so basically it is a point in uh, lag range point is a point in space jahan par agar koi object jata hai agar aap wahan par jaake khade ho jaoge okay तो आप वहीं पर खड़े रह जाओगे ओके यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मूव टूवर्ड्स एनी साइड ओके यू विल जस्ट बी फिक्स्ड इन दैट प्लेस ओके 
आप वहां से ना ही ऐसे फ्लोट करोगे ना ही आपको कहीं और चले जाओगे यहाँ या ग्रेविटी महसूस करोगे पुल महसूस करोगे किसी अदर सेलेस्टियल बॉडी का यू जस्ट बी फिक्सेटेड ओवर देर एंड जस्ट बी स्टैंडिंग लाइक दैट ओके सो दैट इज लैग रेंज पॉइंट ओके अनफेटर्ड इज एन एडजेक्टिव अनफेटर्ड का मतलब क्या होता है अनफेटर्ड इज नॉट लिमिटेड बाई रूल्स और एनी अदर कंट्रोलिंग इन्फ्लुएंस ओके so basically unfettered is something that is not controlled by or influenced by um, any other rule rule ya any other controlling ya influence okay kisi cheez se prabhavit nahi ho raha hai okay that is unfettered okay okay unfettered is not be influenced by okay or not be controlled by anyone okay so someone remaining unfettered is basically someone uh, not giving into the uh, the control okay now it's okay uh, ravneet if if we, you feel that you cannot make sentences with this but unfettered se to bana sakte ho isse bana sakte ho maneuver se bana sakte ho transmit se bana sakte ho okay so all these words you can make sentences with okay so just use these three words and make your paragraph <laughs> ramneet okay then we have corona graph okay corona graph is not a graph of corona virus okay uh corona graph is a noun ye ek instrument hai that blocks out light emitted by the sun's actual surface so that the corona can be observed okay so basically agar aap sun ko dekhoge okay when you try looking at the sun it is too bright okay you're not able to see it because so much of light and uh, light being emitted out of it okay to aap usko dekh nahi pate ho so you basically have to turn off the light switch off the light of the sun to actually look at the sun okay sun kaisa hai wo dekhne ke liye aapko wo uska light off karna hoga this is the instrument that that is used to switch off the light of the sun so that you can see the sun or actually observe the sun okay so that is corona graph okay so this instrument does that okay plasma humne biology mein bhi dekha hai this is plasma in physics okay plasma is an ionized gas okay consisting of positive ions okay don't get again do not get bothered by it it is just an ionized gas okay abhi tak hame kya samajh mein aaya hai ki plasma ek ionized gas hai theek hai इसमें पॉजिटिव आय होते हैं और फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होते हैं इन प्रोपोर्शन रिजल्टिंग इन मोर और लेस नो ओवरऑल इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज ओके तो इसमें पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव इसको माइनस इतना इसमें ये होता है कि दोनों ये भी पॉजिटिव होता है फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन प्रोपोर्शन तो बेसिकली इतना ये दोनों पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव हो जाता है कि ये न्यूट्रल कर देता ओके इट बेसिकली इज न्यूट्रल ओके ऑलमोस्ट नो चार्ज होता है इसका ओके okay? कोई चार्ज नहीं होता है टिपिकली एट लो प्रेशर एज इन अपर एटमोस्फियर एंड इन फ्लोरसेंट लैम और एट वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर एज इन स्टार्स एंड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्टर्स ओके सो बेसिकली प्लाज्मा इज आयोनाइज गैस इतना ही जानना है आपको ठीक है तो लो प्रेशर में ये आपको मिलता है फ्लोरसेंट uh, लैम्प में ओके okay? और हाई प्रेशर में हाई टेम्परेचर में और बहुत हाई टेम्परेचर में आपको कहा मिलता है स्टार्स में मिलता है न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन में मिलता है रिएक्शन रिएक्टर्स में मिलता है ओके सॉरी अबाउट दैट मैग्नेटोमीटर ओके मैग्नेटोमीटर यू ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड मैग्नेट है इसमें सो इट इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज फॉर मेजरिंग मैग्नेटिक फोर्स स्पेशली दी अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म ओके सो मैग्नेटिक फोर्सेस को समझने के लिए पढ़ने के लिए हम यूज करते हैं मैग्नेटोमीटर ओके ऑल राइट ऑल राइट सो द वर्ड्स दैट वी लर्न यहाँ तक किसी को कोई कंफ्यूजन है द वर्ड्स दैट वी लर्न वो ट्रांसमिट मनूवर लैग रेंज पॉइंट अनफेटर्ड कोरोनाग्राफ प्लाज्मा एंड मैग्नेटोमीटर इतने ऑसम टूल्स हैं हमारे पास आई फील लाइक आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग समथिंग अबाउट अ सुपर हीरोज वेपन हाँ 
All right, can we can we move on? The fourth maneuver was made trying to come out of Earth's gravitational pull. Very nice. Good job. Good job. A movement or a series of moves requiring skills, skill and care. Okay, I think I did not explain this word. Thank you, Prabhati. Uh, maneuver karna matlab, aap kisi cheez se, let's say there is a maze, okay? Ek maze hai. Okay, this is the maze, okay? So, you have a skill here uh, to move from one place to another. And here are many, let's say, traps. Bhi hai, okay? There are a lot of traps, okay? So, you have to skillfully move out of it, okay? Just like you have seen Mission Impossible, mein dekha hoga, they have to pass through these laser beams, okay? Just agar, even if they touch one of the laser beams, uh, they... Uh, the alarm starts blaring, hai na? So, unko kya karna hai? Bahut skillfully, they have to cross those laser beams, right? And not touch it, okay? So, that is maneuver when you require skill to move from one place to another, okay? So, movement, bahut sare movement, but skilled movement, okay? So, every step has to be skilled in a certain way, okay? So, you have to take, let's say, left turn 50 and then right turn 90, okay? So, this series of movement that requires skill is to maneuver through things, okay? <laughs> okay. It's getting a bit difficult to form sentences using some of these words so don't make sentences with those words you just need to understand these okay if if you're finding it difficult to make sentences with these words do not okay just rack your brain a little acha lagega maza aayega kyunki aap kuch naya karoge okay creative uh, you will have to create something using these words which will which will will which will be a little scientific as well so probably a sci-fi uh comic book creation <laughs> all right so if you're not able to that is absolutely okay okay he didn't believe in maneuvers or cared enough about the society to think twice think twice about his actions and his unfettered nature was what scared her when she couldn't afford such a behavior being transmitted very nice Ramneet. good job Good job. You can turn these words into um, also into literature like Ravneet does. <laughs> Being transmitted to her because she did care. Very nice, Ravneet. Like I said, she's turning <laughs> scientific uh, terminologies into literature. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. My maneuvers to hop out from the black hole was unsuccessful because of the paucity of fuel. Fuel spelling. And now I am in another galaxy with my alien Bhai Bandhu. <laughs> so Mish, uh, okay, so you were actually, you are actually from another world. <laughs> I'm sure that world is made of samosa somehow. I have I have a feeling, I have a, like a strong feeling that it, that world has a lot of samosas from where you came to Earth. <laughs> All right. Expend. Next word is expend. Expend ka matlab kya hota hai? Expenditure is se aata hai. This is the verb form which means to spend or use up. Okay, kisi cheez ko use, uh, use kar lena. Ya to usko spend kar dena, okay? If it is something that you spend, like money, okay? So, you expend it, okay? Or you are expending all the money, okay? Uh, and if it is something uh, that uses up, okay? Like fuel. So, in that case, you will use use up, okay? Uh, a resource such as money or energy, like I said, okay? So, expend is that, okay? Isi se expenditure, hamara, okay? 
सप्लीमेंट इज अ वर्ब ओके सप्लीमेंट का मतलब क्या होता है एड एन एक्स्ट्रा एलिमेंट और अमाउंट टू ओके सप्लीमेंट कर देना इज एड एन एक्स्ट्रा एलिमेंट और अमाउंट टू समथिंग ओके ओके सप्लीमेंट कैन ऑल्सो बी अ नाउन आपने देखा होगा कि लोग सप्लीमेंट खाते हैं ओके दो आर एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी या न्यूट्रिशन दैट इज नीडेड टू गो बाय योर डे ओके तो इसीलिए लोग सप्लीमेंट खाते हैं दैट इज द नाउन फॉर्म यहाँ पर हम वर्ब का यूज कर रहे हैं विच इज एड एन एक्स्ट्रा एलिमेंट और अमाउंट टू ओके सो दैट इज टू सप्लीमेंट समथिंग ओके एक्स्ट्रा एलिमेंट या एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट एड कर दिया आपने तो आपने सप्लीमेंट कर दिया उस चीज को ओके सो सप्लीमेंट इज नॉट रिप्लेसमेंट ओके अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज नॉट रिप्लेसमेंट ठीक है All right. Then we have loft. Loft is a verb. Okay. Loft is a verb. Lofting use हुआ है इसमें to hit a ball high. Okay. So that is to loft. <laughs> okay. Polarimetry. Okay. Polarimetry is measurement and interpretation of polarization of tr uh, transverse waves. Okay. It is basically polarimetry is to measure. polarization okay you just need to understand that okay polar polar rs mein so that is related to polarity okay Okay, and metry is related to measurement. Okay, it is a noun. Okay, so that is polarimetry. Perception, perception. आपको पता है. Okay, perception. आपको मतलब पता है. Okay, perception is the way in which something is regarded, understood, or interpreted. Okay, so everyone has got their own perception of things. Okay, own perception of things, own perception of ideas, own perception of life. own perception of what is taste and what is good and what is bad and what is considered as a good film and what is considered as a bakwas movie okay everyone has got perception of music they listen to like what is good what is bad everybody has got their own perception about how to treat others how to listen to others what to listen what not to listen how to react how not to react okay so basically these are perceptions okay And then we have stride, okay? Long strides, taking uh, huge strides, okay? Huge strides is long, decisive steps. When you're taking big steps, it is called strides, okay? Strides, okay? So long and decisive steps is called strides, okay? So strides, remember it. People use it in literature as well a lot, okay? So and the final word, final word. is this illusion okay it can be a noun as well as verb okay it can be used as a noun or as well as a verb okay cause someone to realize that a belief they hold is false this is something that is a um that is the most probably the most um successful moment for scientists and probably the most defeated moment for people who do not believe in science okay so this illusion is um basically aisa scenario create kar dena jisme insaan ko khud se realize ho jaye ki unka jo vishwas rakhte hai us jis cheez pe ya jo belief rakhte hai jis cheez pe that is false okay so this illusion is the word okay all right और थैंक यू प्रभति थैंक यू दैट इज सो स्वीट प्रभति थैंक यू सो मच एंड प्लीज कीप लिस्निंग बिकॉज मेक श्योर दैट यू होल्ड ऑन टिल द टिल द टिल द एंड ऑफ द सेशन बिकॉज एंड टूडे आई एम नॉट बींग माई बेस्ट सेल्फ बाय द वे तो एक और सेशन आ जाना आई वॉन्ट टू रीटेक ओके प्रभति All right, congratulations to our CLAT topper 2024. Uh, jinko Yashishvi Dhakar ko uh, All India Rank 8 mila hai, and these are our other top rankers who have made it to the top 
80 NLUs and we are still counting. Maestro batch is a batch for MHCT, CUET, UG 2024. And uh, you are, this is available at us at our Unacademy store at a discounted price of 8,399. Um, you can use my code Vashnavi10 to get this discount. Vashnavi10 is my code and I am taking English language in this batch. So do enroll. Uh, Target NLU is a droppers batch for CLAT 2025 aspirants. Again, you can use my code Vashnavi10 to get the prices slashed. CLAT Iconic is a program for... Okay. Sorry about that. Flat Iconic is a, uh, is a batch, okay, just may is a program, just may aapko, there are two types of programs that we offer at an academy. One is plus, one is iconic. Iconic plus is just a basic plan, okay, just may aapko sab kuch live milega, e notes milenge, ye sab milega. And iconic is a plan, just may aapko sab kuch jo plus mein ho, sab kuch milega. Additionally, you will get raise a hand feature, live mentoring session, detailed physical notes that will be delivered at your doorstep, printed full length mock test. So, offline material bohat zada milta hai iconic mein, that is what it is. And there's another opportunity, mock test jab shuru hoga, to aap offline bhi de sakte apne mock test, which also has great benefits, okay? So, you will be able to attend offline mock test at our academy center. So, that's why iconic batches are so iconic okay all right i've been taking temporary v um some of the most athletic players of the indian cricket team have supplements to enhance their strength and resilience very nice very nice trouble very nice I have been taking temporary V as supplements to run over dark here. Dark heroes of what? But now I think temp V is inadequate for me as I can see a flying object coming from for me, okay, from my balconies area. Very nice, Omesh. Good job. Wow, temp V. <laughs> How fast we uh, make a, a presentation is all what she was thinking now. She expended all her power to try not to change her mind, but it took him, it took her one day and she was disillusioned such a stride in just one day fell surreal. Very nice, very nice. Good job, Ramneet. It's surreal. Hmm. Okay. Pens and highlighters out, everyone. Ashutosh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ek bajne wale hai, Ashutosh. Jab jago tab savera wala concept nahi apply ho gaya. Thik hai. A new high. Okay, this is the title that is given. Thik hai. Now, see, this whole passage is very important editorial because it is talking about, on one hand, in this editorial, the author also talks about what is happening now, what is happening on our side, and on the other side, what is happening on the expectation and what is happening on the normal people. So, Isro should help us to reach So, Isro should help everyone enjoy the fruit of its new science missions. Okay? So, is, isro ko kya karna chahiye inke hisab se isro ko this becomes the conclusion help karna chahiye taki sab enjoy kar sake ye naye science missions pe jo isro ja raha hai uske fruit ko okay uski uh, achievements ko everyone should be able to enjoy those achievements okay at least all indians should be able to enjoy those achievements okay so Let's start with the main idea. On January 6th evening, a stream of commands transmitted by scientists and engineers of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, 
were translated by a computer on board the Aditya L1 aircraft into maneuvers that guided it into orbit around an imaginary point in space. Okay. So, January, 6 January, what uh, happened? Scientists ne command kiya, scientists or engineers ne command kiya isro mein. Extreme, okay, command kiya, extreme command kiya. Sorry. Will trans, uh, uh, were translated by a computer on board. Us make a computer tha on board that was Aditya L1 spacecraft. Taki wo maneuver kar sake or guide kar sake ek imaginary point in the space, okay? Uh, into it into orbit around, okay? Taki wo orbit kar sake us imaginary point of space ke around, okay? Thus, so yahi par conclusion bhi is cheez ka. Thus, Aditya L1 reached its destination around the L1 Langridge point from where it will have an unfettered view of the sun for its expected lifetime of 5 years. Okay. So, 5 saal usko ek bohat clear or uh, hindrance free view milega sun ka is point se. Okay. So, this was something that was pivotal in studying. Yeh humar liye kis liye important hoga ta ki hum uh, sun ke effects ke baare mein aur uska radiations ke baare mein basically sun ke baare mein everything we were able to better understand it. Okay. So this was what happened. Okay. So uh, yeh 6th of January ki hoga. Okay. Aditya L1 is an observatory class solar mission. Now, uh, finally, Aditya L1 ko, uh, spacecraft ko thoda sa aur explain kar hai. What is Aditya L1 aircraft? Okay, ye ek observatory class solar mission hai. Okay, ye observatory, matlab observe karne wala mission hai. Okay, observatory class matlab ek unke classes honge na ki kis cheez ke liye extraction class, observatory class. So, observatory is just for observation. Okay, solar mission hai. That will study sun with seven instruments, okay? Or ye saath instruments ke saath sun ko study karega. VLC and a coronagraph to study the utmost layer of the sun's atmosphere. Suit and ultraviolet, uh, ultraviolet the second one, a suit and ultraviolet imaging telescope. Solex and Helios, which is H-E-L-1-O-S to study solar flares and coronal mass ejection, okay? So, basically, ye sari studies ke liye uh, seven instrument bheja na. Aspects and PAPA uh, to study the solar wind and plasma and a set of digital magnetometer to measure properties of the magnetic field around the spacecraft, okay? So, ye saath instrument, again, this is something that you can clearly skim through because ye saath instrument aur unka kya kya kaam hai uske baare mein bataya gaya, okay? So, a little detail on what is uh, Aditya L1 spacecraft, okay? Isro picked the L1 ISRO picked the L1 lag range point 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in the Earth-Sun direction and one of five lag range points in the Earth-Sun system because the gravitational influences of these two bodies interact such that a smaller body here will not experience a net tug towards each other. Okay, so basically, yehi jo maine lag range point explain kiya. This is what they are saying ki ye yahan par kyu place hua? Kyu place hua Aditya L1 yahan pe? Because yahan par ye smaller body hai and it will not experience any kind of tug, matlab khichao towards any of these masses. Okay, so Aditya L1 can stay at the L1 while expanding little fuel. So, ye bahut kam fuel use hoga and it can stay there for five years. Okay. Its scientific mission will begin in a month or so once its thrusters emission drift away. Okay. So, thrusters emission laga hai rehte jab wo nikal jayenge, tab iska mission shuru hoga. Tab se iska mission shuru hoga. Okay. Which will take a month's time. Okay. Yeah. 
as such, Aditya L1 supplements India's storied history of observing the sun dating back to the Kodai Canal Solar Observatory, which commenced operation in 1901 by lofting into uh, it into space. Okay, so now this is a sa basically uh, in India se kaise India ke liye kyu ye itna maine rakhta hai kyu ye ye itna ahem hai. Uske baare mein author bata raha hai ki Aditya L1 jo ye जो स्टोरीज है इंडियन हिस्ट्री के बारे में उसको सप्लीमेंट करता है उसमें एक एडिशन ऐड करता है क्योंकि कोडाइकनाल कोडाइकनाल सोलर ऑब्जर्वेटरी जो 1901 में भेजा गया था ओके व्हिच कमेंस ऑपरेशन उनके उसका स्टार्ट हुआ था 1901 में और कैसे स्टार्ट हुआ था बाय लॉफ्टिंग इनटू स्पेस ओके मतलब बेसिकली स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन में ओके it allows, it also follows the ExpoSat uh, mission launched on January 1 to become only the world's second X-ray polar, uh, polarimetry uh, satellite and eight years after AstroSat, which reached seven several highs on its own. Okay, so this was not just because it was the, uh, the, the first observatory just set, uh, set up hua tha. उसके बाद और एक मिशन हुआ था विच वाज एक्सपोसैट ओके जो वेयर वी वर सेकंड इन द वर्ल्ड जिसमें एक्सरे पोलारोमेट्री ओके पोलारीमेट्री सैटेलाइट था ओके इट वाज द सेकंड सच सैटेलाइट ओके एंड दैट वाज आल्सो एन अचीवमेंट ओके एन इंपॉर्टेंट इशू विद सच तो यहां तक अब डिटेल दे दिया गया है ओके यहां तक डिटेल दे दिया गया है नाउ द ऑथर इज सेइंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट इशू विद सच अचीवमेंट्स इन पब्लिक परसेप्शन इज पब्लिक परसेप्शन और ये सारे अचीवमेंट्स जो हैं ओके अभी जो ये वाला अचीवमेंट है फिर ये वाला जो अचीवमेंट है इन सारे अचीवमेंट में क्या है क्या दिक्कत है इशू क्या है पब्लिक परसेप्शन इशू है ओके फॉर एग्जांपल अब एग्जांपल दे रहा है इसी चीज का सो दिस इज द क्लेम दैट द ऑथर इज मेड ए क्लेम बोल दिया पब्लिक परसेप्शन अब इसको एक्सप्लेन करेगा कि क्या है पब्लिक परसेप्शन ओके फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाइल आदित्य एल1 एंड एस्ट्रोसैट आर बिग स्ट्राइड्स फ्रॉम इंडियाज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दे पेल इन कंपैरिजन टू द इमेजिंग एबिलिटीज ऑफ द जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलीस्कोप व्हिच इज ऑपरेटेड बाय थ्री स्पेस एजेंसीज ओके सो बेसिकली अगर ये देखो ये सारे जो जो uh, हमने ये बहुत ह्यूज स्टेप्स जो लिए हैं ये इंडिया के लिए भले ही बहुत बड़ा होगा लेकिन बाकी जैसे जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलीस्कोप है जो तीन स्पेस एजेंसीज मैनेज कर रही है नॉट जस्ट वन थ्री स्पेस एजेंसीज आर मैनेजिंग सो ऑब्वियसली दैट इज मोर सोफेस्टिकेटेड एंड उसके सामने ये बहुत ही छोटा और छोटा स्टेप लगता है ओके इट लुक्स लाइक अ वेरी स्मॉल इन सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग दैट वी हैव डन ओके तो दैट इज व्हाट द ऑथर इज सेइंग कि ऐसा लगता है इन सबके सामने कि uh, ये कोई अचीवमेंट ही नहीं है ओके दिस इज नॉट अ बिग अचीवमेंट येट सो देयर इज अ कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन और इसके बावजूद मेनी कंटिन्यू टू एक्सपेक्ट द इंडियन स्पेसक्राफ्ट टू कैप्चर हायर्स फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द कॉस्मोस एंड आर डिसइल्यूजनड व्हेन इट डज नॉट ओके तो बेसिकली अब ये स्टेप जो लिया गया है Good afternoon, Kumkum. Sasuke. I have Sasuke as well. <laughs> All right. Sorry for being late. Hi, Rahi. It's okay. Just watch the entire thing. Good afternoon. Sasuke. Okay. All right. <coughs> Sorry. So as I was saying, तो अब इन सब के कंपैरिजन में ओके अगर हम देखें इंडिया का स्पेसक्राफ्ट तो लोग उम्मीद करने लगते हैं कि ये भी बहुत एकदम यू नो बहुत क्लैरिटी के साथ एकदम बढ़िया फोटो लेगा सन का ओके और जब ऐसा नहीं होता है ओके द पिक्चर्स आर ब्लर्ड एंड हेजी एंड पिक्सेलेटेड जब ऐसा नहीं हो पाता है तो ये उनका फॉल्स बिलीफ खत्म हो जाता है ओके इट इज डिस्ट्रॉयड ओके सो 
ऑब्वियसली इतना उम्मीद करना फ्रॉम uh, दिस तो इसीलिए बहुत जरूरी है सो दिस इज नॉट फेयर ओके दी ऑथर इज सिंग इस फेयर तो नहीं है ओके सेटिंग असाइड द फैक्ट दैट नॉट ऑल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर इमेजर्स ओके जितने भी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स भेजे जाते हैं ओके okay? जितने भी सैटेलाइट्स भेजे जाते हैं स्पेस में सारे के सारे इमेजेस नहीं होते सारे बस फोटो नहीं लेते रहते ओके सम आर जस्ट दे रीड द लाइक जैसे इसमें मैग्नेटोमीटर है ओके सो दे जस्ट टेक द मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ समथिंग कुछ कुछ और पर्पज सर्व करते हैं ओके सो दे आर नॉट ऑल इमेजेस अगर ये वाला फैक्टर हटा भी दिया जाए तो इट इज से इसरो कैन डू मोर ओके अब ऑथर बोल रहा है इसरो कैन डू मोर टू बाय एक्सपैंडिंग इट्स ओन एंड इट्स कोलैबोरेटिंग इंस्टीट्यूट पब्लिक आउटरीच एफर्ट सच एज बाय होस्टिंग ओपन डे फोकस्ड फोकस्ड ऑन स्पेसिफिक मिशन एंड कमिशनिंग साइंस कम्युनिकेशन ऑन न्यू रिजल्ट एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज सेंग की अब इसरो बिकॉज पीपल डू नॉट नो कि कितना सोफेस्टिकेशन चाहिए ऐसे इमेजेस के लिए इमेजेस uh, के लिए और क्या इसका पर्पस है इस सर्टेन सैटेलाइट uh, का या इस सर्टेन यू नो स्पेस मिशन का ओके okay? तो ये सब रियलाइज करने के लिए दी ऑथर इज सजेस्टिंग कि इसरो को और करना चाहिए इसरो को अपना एक्सपैंड करना चाहिए अपना कोलैबोरेशन विथ अदर इंस्टीट्यूट ठीक है और उनको ऐसे होस्ट भी करना चाहिए कम्युनिकेशन नॉर्मल जनता से ताकि उनको भी पता चले कि क्या क्या अचीवमेंट किए और क्या है ये ओके okay? बेसिकली क्या उम्मीद कर सकते हैं क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन रख सकते हैं इस सैटेलाइट से या इस स्पेस uh, मिशन से ओके okay? Everyone should be able to celebrate a new high. हम हम सबको मौका मिलना चाहिए एक एक नए पड़ाव पे पहुंचने का ओके वी हैव रीच अ होल न्यू लेवल ओके सो वी ऑल शुड बी एबल टू सेलिब्रेट दैट राइट नॉट जस्ट इस रो नॉट जस्ट यू नो फ्यू न्यूज चैनल्स और फ्यू रिपोर्ट दैट हैज बीन मेड ऑन दिस वी शुड ऑल बी एबल टू सेलिब्रेट सच न्यू हाइज ओके बट स्पेशली द पीपल एट लार्ज स्पेशली नॉर्मल जनता ओके नॉर्मल जनता को ये सब सेलिब्रेट करने का मौका देना चाहिए एंड इसरो सो इसरो शुड ऑल्सो कंसिडर इंक्लूडिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑन मिशन दैट फीड पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट ओके सो ऐसे कॉम्पोनेंट्स भी इसीलिए इसरो को ऐसे भी कॉम्पोनेंट्स इंक्लूड करना चाहिए इन मिशन में जो पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट पब्लिक के इंटरेस्ट में आता है ओके इट इज समथिंग दैट इज इंटरेस्टिंग टू पब्लिक ओके एंड विल ग्रैप देयर अटेंशन ऑल दीज एफर्ट्स विल रिक्वायर फंड ये सारे एफर्ट के लिए फंड चाहिए होगा पैसा चाहिए होगा बट कंसिडरिंग द लव इसरो हैज बिन गेटिंग फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ लेट इट मे जस्ट बी अ मैटर ऑफ आस्किंग ओके तो लेकिन अगर uh, देखा जाए कि इसके लिए फंड चाहिए होगा ऑब्वियसली दिस इज नॉट समथिंग जो फ्री फोकट में हो जाएगा लेकिन गवर्नमेंट जैसे फेवर कर रही है इसरो को दीज डेज इट इज जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ आस्किंग कहने का मतलब हुआ बस पूछने की देर है एंड दी ऑथर थिंग्स दैट इट विल बी प्रोवाइड All right. So this is uh, the entire editorial. अब बताओ इस editorial का tone क्या है ओके रवनीत ऑप्टिमिस्टिक तो रहने देते हैं ओके इन्फॉर्मेटिव ले लेती हूं मैं इसमें से सेलिब्रेटोरी भी होगा ओके ओके okay, मतलब दिस इज सेलिब्रेटिंग अ न्यू हाई ओके कि हम एक नए जगह पे पहुंच गए एक नए लेवल पे पहुंच गए एंड वी हैव बीन दिस इज द सेकंड यू नो समथिंग दैट वी कैन सेलिब्रेट ओके इफ वी डू नॉट कंपेयर इट विद अदर यू नो स्पेस क्राफ्ट और सैटेलाइट और इमेजेस वी कैन डेफिनेटली सेलिब्रेट दिस ओके एंड इट इज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट लास्ट में दी ऑथर इज गिविंग 
एडवाइस ओके कि क्या करना चाहिए टू इम्प्रूव दिस कंडीशन ओके सो इन दैट केस द ऑथर इज ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू परसुएड ओके सो परसुएसिव भी हो सकता है All right, but this, these three are the top picks, okay, of tones, okay. ये तीन हमारे top tones हो गए यहाँ पर के लिए, okay. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you everyone for attending the session, and I hope आपको समझ में आया है आज का session, and I hope that you liked it. Bye bye everyone. Oh, bye. I will. Uh, see you again tomorrow with another uh, session, uh, editorial session. And remember, today at 5 you have, if you are preparing for MHCT, kar rahe hai, toh every day from now onwards, okay, from today onwards, from Monday onwards, 5 p.m. you will have English session, okay, for your CUET preparation, which is uh, Vijay Rath uh, series, we are starting, which is at 5 p.m. I will be taking session on अनअकेडमी क्लैट ओके अनअकेडमी क्लैट जो चैनल है हमारा उस पर पांच बजे सेशन होगा मेरा आई विल बी सेंडिंग द लिंक ऑन द ग्रुप सो दैट द फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर एबल टू गाइड योर सेल्फ टू दैट चैनल ओके सो इन द मॉर्निंग आई विल सी यू ऑन दिस चैनल लेट्स क्रैक क्लैट विद एडिटोरियल सेशन द हिंदू एडिटोरियल सेशन एंड इन द इवनिंग आई विल सी यू एट फाइव एवरी डे for CUET preparation session uh, on Unacademy CLAT channel. All right. So, bye-bye, everyone. Hope to see you there. Auf Wiedersehen. Sayonara. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Prabal. Thank you, uh, Navasha. Bye, Somesh. Hasta la vista. Ahopwa, Ravneet. Ahopwa, Maxime. Bye-bye, Bizu. Gracias. Okay. Dankeschön, everyone.